I love using the internet, but sometimes I worry about how safe it is for kids like me to be online. It lets me play games and chat with my friends. It makes me laugh and I learn a lot from all the information I can find on the World Wide Web. More and more websites that might be harmful to children are beginning to check people's ages to make sure that they are not too young. This is called age verification. Adults have to do it too, to prove that they are not kids. I can't buy a bottle of wine in a shop, so I shouldn't be able to buy one online either. There are a lot of ways to check someone's age. The most common one is showing identification, like a passport. But that can be hard when you are online, and not all kids have passports. So, we may have to use other ways, like showing your face to a camera for a computer to work out your age. As technology gets better, more and more age checking tools are being made. But it would be really annoying if you had to prove your age every time you went to a different website. So I'm here to explain how a new system will help to make it easier for everyone. It's called EU Consent. It will let me use my age check again and again. It does this by connecting lots of different companies which provide age checks. So you can just check the first time you visit a site where there is an age restriction and then you can use the same check on many of the sites. Giving personal information out when you are online is generally a bad idea. With age verification, you can choose a company you trust so that you know your information will be safe. When my age check is needed again by other sites, the way EU consent is designed means it doesn't give any of my personal information away, except to confirm if I'm the right age to access a site. Just yes or no. This helps to protect my rights as a child so that I can use the internet safely, avoid stuff that is not suitable for me and protect my privacy and keep my personal information secret. If you want to know more, go to euconsent.eu. I love you. That was a that was a 14-year-old British boy. We've obviously launched his career as an actor now and a voiceover artist. He's going to get an equity card, which is the essential trade union membership if you want to be an actor in, in England. So, uh, Tom Cruise, watch out. Um, anyway, welcome uh, to our conference here in Athens. Uh, I'm delighted to be back here, um, as I'm sure you all are. Last time I was here, I wore shorts, and uh, many people have complained that I'm not wearing them on this occasion. And that's because the last time when I was wearing shorts, it caused so much distraction and uh, commotion amongst, the, amongst people in the audience that I thought, in the interest of modesty, I'd put long trousers on. But I am wearing sandals, so it's a kind of compromise. But if anybody is desperate to see my legs, you can just let me know and we'll sort something out later. Um, <coughs> so, uh, a lot has happened since we were, back, uh, since we were here in Athens. And I'll just mention one thing, because I know we're going to be pressed for time and there's people going to speak who are a lot more interesting and important than I am. And I think the, the EU's, uh, pub, the publication by the EU of the Better Internet for Kids strategy, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, very, very recently in any event, made an explicit reference to the importance of age verification, age assurance, uh, and that's going to ripple not just across Europe, but across the world. And that's because of the importance of the uh, EU in, in the context of global online markets. I was a vice president of MySpace, <coughs> if those of you who are old enough to, to remember it. Um, <clears throat> and at that time, I, technically I was employed in Los Angeles, although I never, I never actually went to live there, I just flew there a lot. And the mantra within the company was always, we're a global company, we have one global set of rules, and that's how we intend to run our business. But at that time, something like 85, 90% of the revenues of all of those big American companies were coming from the American market. That is history. Now, I think it's something like 20%, possibly even less, uh, of their total revenues are coming from within the United States. On the contrary, a much larger proportion of revenues for these businesses coming from within the EU and from elsewhere in the world. So I think whatever the Americans might end up doing in terms of their own federal rules or federal regulations, the fact is the market is going to be shaped in particular by what the EU decides. And we are part of that uh, through the EU consent uh, project. 
So it's uh, an important project that we're in engaged with, uh, and it's been, in my view, incredibly successful up to now, and I'm sure it's going to have a major um, impact for the future of online child safety and child protection, and for law enforcement, because this isn't just about allowing companies or helping companies to meet their ethical obligations, it's also about enabling companies to meet their legal obligations.